The next part of setting our, up our experiment is the hypothesis. A hypothesis is a prediction or an educated guess about what you think will happen in an experiment once we test it. Your hypothesis doesn't have to wind up being correct, but it should be based on something you already know or research you've done. A hypothesis is also known as an if then because statement, and there are three parts to it. The if is how we are changing something. So we're gonna talk about that example of a plant in just a second, but I want you to remember that the if is just what is being changed and how we're changing it. So are we giving it more water? Are we giving it less water? Not just we're changing the water. The then is what the result may be. This is where you're gonna take what you're measuring and turn it into your actual prediction. So your then is going to actually be what you think is going to happen. And finally, your because is what makes you think that your prediction is correct. If we look at our plant example that we just talked about in the last slide, our hypothesis is gonna be an if then because the if could be if we give the plant more water. I didn't just say if we change the amount of water the plant gets, I said how I'm changing it. So if we give the plant more water, then it will grow taller. I'm talking about what I'm measuring and I'm gonna talk about what my prediction for that measurement is. So I think that if I give the plant more water, then it's going to grow taller. Now I'm gonna add my because. I know this because I know that plants need water to grow. So more water will probably help that plant grow. Now I can do research, I can look at other experiments, I can just think about my own experience, maybe I forgot to water a plant and it stopped growing, but I can use all of that information to make my because statement. In the next slide, you're going to actually match up some if statements with their then statements. So read each one carefully and start to form your own hypotheses. After that, you'll read a little bit more about your because statement and then add your because statement to the hypothesis you figured out. So the next couple slides are matching pairs. I want you to go through them really carefully and make sure you can end up with three different if